Hello everyone. Today we will be going to discuss about the integrations uh, API framework. So Salesforce to SAP integration we're going to talk about. So what is integration API framework? Like integration frame, API framework is an application which is built on top of Salesforce to address the client needs where it, if a client has a requirement to interact with SAP system or any other external system. They need to have a communication that needs to be established between Salesforce and the external system that need this particular application address that. In order to address those needs for the integration API framework, we have uh, having the following objects, integration API settings, integration API calls, and the integration API parameters. First, suppose let me say if my client is having a requirement to fetch the current weather so from particular external system in order to achieve this initially we need to create a record in the integration api setting now take a look as uh, the existing record fetch the weather report so here we have uh, some information like some details related to fetching the weather report record where we have given an api setting name as well as uh, active Check both the check name and record the created. This is initial integration API setting record. And uh, for the integration API setting record, we need to have integration API calls that needs to be executed when this API setting is called out. For that, we have created an integration API call for this integration API setting. And uh, once this API call is configured, uh, like uh, we have given an API call name as well and the loop and integration API setting where we have to configure it the fetched weather report and endpoint URL. In the endpoint URL, we will be configuring the endpoint uh, URL in the remote site settings. And if we have an API call sequence, we will be configuring the API call sequence here. So what happens if there are some couple of API calls that need to be happening for this particular API uh, make a call another API and that will be created kind of a call sequence will be two for that and when it's the final endpoint we will be click checking the each final endpoint in the second record and this is how an API call is configured once API call is configured then we need to pass the parameters for that call to happen and a place where the third object comes into the picture where we have a configure the parameters for the current weather report so for the following parameter that needs to be passed when this particular call is called out and initially we are having an integration api call field and api parameter name as well as the type of parameter name and parameter value what is parameter sequence if you are having three parameters once the first parameter is passed then only the second parameter will be passed similarly we can configure how many parameters we want in the end in order to which they needs to be executed this is how an integration api setting record will be created in the front end so suppose we wanted to call this particular integration api setting we need to define the custom setting record for this integration yeah. setting For weather report that needs to be fixed here, we are having some custom fields that are related to the custom setting records. And once the required fields are created, then we are having API setting number like one or two or three, where we will be going to configure, where we will be going to pass the integration API setting record name. And the custom setting is uh, called out API settings number one. We will be passing out the first record name and the api settings number two we will be passing out the second record name once this is configured we will be need to pass the custom setting record name in apex class so whenever a call is happened in apex class through button click or any other operations and once the custom setting record is invoked then it will be validated the record and then it will check for the api setting which are available in the custom setting record and if the record is active, it will try to fetch the API calls for the API settings and record. And once the call is finished, what are the parameters that are needs to be passed when this call is executed? So once all these operations are done, our response from external system will be returned to us. And this is how integration API framework works. 
if you want to if you see this in a real time let's say as per our scenario we wanted to fetch the current weather so let me click to get the current temperature so what will happen here once the button will clip uh like in the custom settings record in the custom setting record it will look for the integration api settings and call that happens and response will return back to the component this is how integration api framework works thank you so much i hope you like the video i'll keep on sharing more updates more insights about salesforce